The M4 motorway, it's noisy, isn't it? But we mustn't forget that the canal was the motorway of its day. Let's find out a bit more. But the big problem for canal engineering was how to get a boat to be able to go up or down. The answer was a special kind of water lift called a lock. To understand how a lock works, we need to understand some canal language. Just behind me, you can see Lock 17 of the Kevin Flight of Locks. It's just been restored. The part that you can see is the bottom end of the lock. So the gates are called bottom gates and they are mighty big. The big hole that you can see behind me is called the lock chamber. It's amazing to think that it was made 200 years ago and it looks as good as new. I've always been fascinated by canals, especially locks. It's amazing to see a boat slowly rise in a lock when it's being filled with water. And it's just as amazing to see a boat go down as the water is let out. But how? do we fill the lock with water? And how do we let the water out? Let's look closely at some more canal engineering. This mechanism is called a ground paddle. When we open it, it opens a trap door which is just below where I'm crouching now. When it's open, it lets the water into the lock chamber. But you must remember to close it when the lock chamber is full. That's one of the rules of the canal. We're now at the bottom end of the lock and I'm sitting on one of the bottom gates. This mechanism is called a gate paddle and these rods connect the mechanism to a trap door at the bottom of the gate. When the trap door is open, it lets the water out. But we must remember, of course, that when we're finished using it, we must close the trap door. Let's see a lock in action. Here we see a boat about to enter a lock. The people on this boat are quite lucky because the bottom gates are already open. There's a boat already inside, waiting for them. Otherwise, the gates should have been closed. Once safely inside, the bottom gates are closed. Next, water is released into the lock chamber by operating a ground paddle. You need a special key called a windlass. Think of a ground paddle as a trap door in the chamber wall. It lets the water in. It's very noisy and it never fails to attract the attention of passers-by. As the water rises, the boats inside the lock chamber rise as well. It's very clever. When the level of the water inside the lock chamber is the same level as the canal above, the top gate can be opened. The gate moves easily because the forces are now balanced. The boats waiting in the lock chamber can now be moved forward into the canal. Boaters should remember to close the ground paddle and if there's no boat waiting to go down, close the gate. Boats going down enter the lock from the top end. When they're safely inside, the top gate is closed. Water is released from the lock chamber by operating the gate paddles on the bottom gates. As the water level drops, the boats slowly descend. It's all very exciting, as you can see from the amount of people watching. Finally, when the water inside the lock chamber is at the same level as the canal below, the bottom gates can then be opened and the boats inside continue their journey. Don't forget to close the bottom gates and the gate paddles before leaving the lock. 